Before making this video, I never would have even imagined that these creatures could be born by crossbreeding two completely different species. Stay until the end, because what we're about to see is just insane. The Zorse, a cross between a zebra and a horse, is one of the most common hybrids, but that doesn't mean we see them everywhere. They're still very rare. These animals are born from a male zebra and a mare, and both parents' traits are very noticeable. A Zorse has the zebra's signature stripes, but its body shape looks more like that of the horse. Usually, the Zorse's stripes don't cover the whole body. Instead, they're mostly limited to the legs, part of the back, or the neck. Zorses have a wild instinct, after all, they're half zebra. Because of this, they're often harder to train than a regular horse and have a strong temperament and can even be aggressive. The Zorsa belongs to the group of zebroids, hybrids born from a zebra and any other equine, like this zonkey, which is the result of a zebra and a donkey. Zonkeys are very rare cases. However, they've been around since at least the mid-1800s. In The Origin of Species, uh, Charles Darwin mentions a zonkey that had apparently produced a triple hybrid with a mare. More recently at the Reynosa Zoo in Tamaulipas, Mexico, a zonkey was born from an albino donkey and a female zebra. The baby was named Kumba. The liger is the result of a cross between a tigress and a male lion. It has a reddish color and you can see dark stripe patterns on its coat. They're extremely rare. There's only a 0.1% chance that a cub will be born. It's the largest feline in the world, able to weigh over 900 pounds and measure more than 11.5 feet. In 2013, a US born ligger named Hercules made it into the Guinness Book of Records by weighing 410 kilograms and measuring 3.6 meters. This animal's personality is a pure mix of its parents. It can adapt to living alone like a tigress or accept the presence of a pride like lions. Male ligers are infertile and never reach puberty, so they can't reproduce. Females, on the other hand, can reproduce but can't nurse their young. Also, this animal often suffers from heart problems and other issues since its organs can't handle its massive weight. <laughs> Just as leaguers can be born, there are also tigons, a cross between a tiger and a lioness. Tigons aren't as common as their reverse hybrids, the ligers. The males of both hybrid species are infertile, but they also show traits from both parents, looking like lions with tiger stripes. Uh, these kinds of species mixes aren't normal in nature. They're caused by human intervention. That's why when you cross a lion with a tigress or a tiger with a lioness, the offspring often have anomalies. There can even be hybrids of hybrids like lilligers from a lion and a female liger, or tilligers from a tiger and a female liger. These end up being 75% lion and 25% tiger in the case of the lilliger, and 75% tiger and 25% lion in the case of the tiliger, unlike their previous generation, which are 50% lion and 50% tiger in the case of ligers and tigons. Have you ever heard of a cabot? A cross between a cat and a rabbit? Sounds like a magical creature out of science fiction, right? Well, get ready to be surprised. And I'm sure some of you who know about hybrids are thinking, Oh, he's just going to talk about Manx cats or oriental short hairs with rabbit tails and huge ears. But no, I mean this actual cross between a cat and a rabbit with clear cat features but rabbit-like jumps and ears. Have you ever seen a cat eat a carrot? I thought they were obligate carnivores. And I'd like to think this hybrid is fake, but it's hard to deny when the evidence is right there. Se dieron tremendo festín con zanahorias, aguacates y vegetales. Ningún gato come así. It may not have wings or cast spells, but the cabot might just be realish. Okay, okay. Not exactly a magical mix. But sometimes rabbits and cats become best friends and do all kinds of cute things together. One of the most talked about and controversial births recently was that of an animal in Bahia, Brazil, with the body of a bovine and the head of an equine. 
This animal, nicknamed coinha, or little rabbit in Portuguese, because of its upright ears, is the result of a cross between a cow and a donkey. It was born a few years ago at the Vala dos Carais Ranch in the rural area of Conceição do Almeida. In this setting, where animals like horses, oxen, donkeys, and goats roam freely through the pasture and mix together, this unusual cross could have happened. The mother is a Girolando cow named Bandeiro, who has lived on the ranch since birth and had given birth to at least five calves before this one. All normal. When cowboy Manuel Oliveira saw the calf for the first time, everyone on the ranch doubted it was Bandeiro's baby because of how much it looked like a horse. However, an investigation confirmed that the calf did come from Bandeiro. Even though people questioned the relationship between the cow and the donkey, one thing is certain, nature can always surprise us, even when science says otherwise. The whole fin is a hybrid cetacean, the result of a bottlenose dolphin and a false killer whale. Its size, color, and shape fall right between those of its parent species. It has 66 teeth, exactly in between a bottlenose dolphin, 88 teeth, and a false killer whale, 44 teeth. Unlike most hybrids, which are normally infertile, whole fins are fertile. The word whole fin in English comes from whale and dolphin. But according to zoologists, the name is incorrect since even though the orca is called a killer whale, it's actually not a whale, it's a dolphin. They both belong to the Delphinidae family. The term holfin was first used in 1985 at Sea Life Park in Hawaii to describe a hybrid between a false killer whale and a bottlenose dolphin. The hybrid was named Keikaimalu and is still alive at the park, according to The Guardian, which adds that hybrids like these usually happen when one of the parent species' populations starts to decline. The beefalo, or catalo, is a bovine hybrid born from a buffalo or bison and a domestic cow of any breed. De Depending on the cow it's bred with, the beefalo can look slightly different, but it usually resembles a large stocky bull or cow with thick fur. The first crossbreeding was done by Charles Jones in 1906 in what is now Grand Canyon National Park. Among its livestock advantages are its low-calorie, low-fat, and low-cholesterol meat, its greater resistance to extreme climates, and the fact that its birth process is less difficult than in other cattle breeds. However, keeping these animals on farmland causes some problems. For example, they drink at least 45 liters of water per day, so a herd can dry up wells quickly. Now for an unexpected twist. Your future kidney might be growing inside a pig. Scientists are mixing human cells with pig embryos to grow organs and use them for human transplants. Check out this human-pig hybrid embryo. It, its DNA was modified and human stem cells were injected to grow a human heart. It's incredible and a bit unsettling. What if it looks at you like, hey, how is my liver doing? It, it's revolutionary science and strange enough to make you think. Would you trust Pepe to save you? One thing is certain, the word chimera is no longer just Greek mythology. It's now a reality that could save many lives, but harm others. <laughs>